A while ago, I asked you guys to tell me what version of Gogeta you liked the most, and SS4 won. So now, I present to you brand new on the Geekdom 101 store, the brand new Ultimate Fusion Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta merchandise line. You get to pick whatever color you want and whatever size you want, and it'll ship right to you. And right now, Redbubble's doing 25% off, so you might not want to wait too long to get this one because that sale is not going to go on forever, and I'm not even sure when it's going to end. If you don't want a shirt, they've also got hoodies and different kinds of clothing and art prints and all of that. I'll leave a link in the description down below, but limited time only, the Gogeta Ultimate Fusion t-shirt and more. Check it out. So let's talk a little bit more about Dragon Ball Magic. First of all, thank you so much for stopping by on the channel. It means a lot to me. Make sure you leave a like so that this video gets spread out to other Dragon Ball fans. I want to discuss a few more things about Dragon Ball Magic. I did go into a lot of Dragon Ball Magic over in the video I did on my channel right over here. Dragon Ball Magic new streaming anime is coming. And over in the live section of my channel, uh, this is the stream right here where I discussed it. And I answered some questions there. So check those out if you haven't. And if you haven't checked out the shorts on the channel, they don't show up in your algorithm sometimes. And they won't show up in your... Um, notifications so check those out as well in the shorts tab here youtube has separated videos shorts and lives now so um you know streams so just be aware of that going forward not just for my channel but any channels that you're a part of that you enjoy watching so let's talk a bit more about dragon ball magic now once again i want to reiterate this is secondhand information and we're not going to have full details on any of this until new york comic con again Please understand that. I have to be very careful with how I say things because people tend to take me out of context or misinterpret what I'm saying. So I want to give you as best information as best as I can. So I want to address some things that have been sent over to me and some things that I know going forward with this series. So let's go ahead and pop open this notepad here. And yes, I'm doing it on notepad because I don't have any screenshots of the series yet. We're not going to get those until next month and if i did get those i would never release them because that would be leaking industry secrets and and you can't do that like you can't i can't if somebody sends me a screenshot of something early or something like that i i would not in any way put this out i'm addressing stuff that i've been told not things i've seen please remember that i have not seen this with my own eyes so first of all this rumor about toriyama's gt debunk so this series will be focused on exploration and world building. Yes, that is something that's going to be a topic of focus in this series. But it's not... Um, people have been calling it Toriyama's GT. It is borrowing a an idea from GT. Maybe more than one. But it, I don't think it's, it's fair to call it Toriyama's GT. Even though I understand why. Whether you like GT or you hate it. That's not going to matter here. Because... The people who were in charge of GT, Kozo Morishita, from what I understand, they're not on this project. The only one that is, from what I understand, is Nakatsuru, and he's an artist and an animator. So, Toriyama's involved, of course. I would not expect it to be like GT, so I recommend everybody give it a chance. I know I'm going to, to see if it's good or bad. And, oh, the other thing, too, about this is, um, you know, obviously Goku being a kid again. People seem to think that's because of GT. I don't view it that way. I view it as this is the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball in 2024. Dragon Ball started November of 84. And I think the idea is Kid Goku is how the show started. You know what I mean? So they're borrowing the GT aspect in a way, but they're not straight up like ripping off GT. Some have said that. I don't think that's the case or does it have to do with. Okay, let me get to the next bullet point. Uh, there's rumors about how the fights aren't going to be good. I, I disagree with that. Nakatsuru is one of the, has done some of the best fights. I forgot to write some. Some of the best fights in the series. He's a tremendous artist. I don't think he's going to allow any fights to be dull in this show. So if you're a fan of fights, I wouldn't be worried. It's Dragon Ball. So this one right here, I've seen some fan art about Goku wearing the blue gi. The blue gi that he had in GT and at the end of Z that we saw at the very, very end of the Dragon Ball Z anime and the Dragon Ball manga where he confronted Oob. As far as I know, Goku will start the series with the orange gi. Now, I wrote here, will he end it with the blue gi? Because 
I think there's been a lot of theories out there about where this show's going to go. I've seen some fans, including myself on the stream, talk about how maybe they're going to take the idea for Super Saiyan 4 and maybe reboot it into this series, like what they did with Broly, for example. I think that's a logical theory. I think if that's your theory, and again, this is theory. I'm not saying this is a scoop. This is theory. If your theory is that, I don't think you're crazy. I don't. I think there's a possibility of that. But the whole thing with the blue gi, because that's what he wore in GT and at the end of Z, I wrote, will he end with the blue gi? Because it could be possible, now that we know this is right around the end of Z time period, that the series could end with him having the blue gi. And if that's the case... It could go right into the end of Z, and then we can move on to the next story, whatever that may be. So, um, I used to think, years ago, that after Goku finished training with Whis, that Whis would give him the blue gi as sort of like this, you know, this, um, you know, like, like an award, or like a black belt, like symbolic of a black belt. As being somebody who has mastered the art of fighting via gods, right? That always made sense to me they were going to do something like that. So it would be cool if at the end of this adventure, maybe he does get the blue gi. Again, that's just the theory. Not saying this is going to happen for sure. But Goku starting with the blue, with the orange gi is, is probably going to happen. I said, that's why I wrote theory is possible. Um, so there's a character with pointy ears who looks like he's wearing a demon suit. Uh, this has been sent to me from a friend of mine. I do not know who this character is. I don't know what, I don't have details guys. There are some people out there who do have details and they're withholding them. I do not have details on who this is. If you see this image floating around the internet, cause I, it was sent to me. So you might see an image floating around. No idea who that is. He could be the villain. He could be. I couldn't tell you. So if I get, I'm only writing, put, putting this in this video because I have a feeling I'm going to get questions about it. I have a feeling people are going to be sending me uh, pictures about this. And I couldn't even tell you. I, I could not even tell you. Also, I want to address the whole episode number thing because there's been a few things that have gone out. The uh, DBS hype leaked that he dropped on Instagram. Uh, he wrote there's going to be 10 to 15 episodes. I said in my stream that I do not know if that's the case. I was never told that. That doesn't mean it's not true. That does not mean it's not true. And I want you to know that Hype and Chronicles, the two Twitter leakers, neither one of them were the ones that gave me this information. I want people to understand that I didn't get this from either one of them. You know what I mean? Neither one. They just happened to have very similar information that I did, but they're not the ones that gave it to me. So uh, please be aware of that. Because um, I think some people thought that like, we were all going to drop at the same time that we, you know, we conspired. That is not the case. You have my word on that, but it just so happens they got similar information and I'm not going to ask them where they got it because that's not, you, you can't really give that away, dude. It's not a good idea, but the whole 10 to 15 episodes thing, is that possible? Maybe, but I, I find it weird to think that because somebody else who I talked to said it could go a year. So the idea of a, Dragon Ball 40th anniversary series only being 15 episodes is weird because they have all of 2024 to celebrate. Now, again, I'm not saying that's not the case. I'm just saying that the only place I've seen that has been on that, you know, on that video and other members of the fandom have said that there's half truths. Specifically, Anime AJ said that some of the information there is half truth. So I want to make that clear to everybody that this information getting out may not be 100% accurate. I think that the name of the series and the premise are accurate. The thing about the episodes, just be aware that that may, it could also be a misinterpretation. It could be a mistranslation. I'm not saying that anybody's putting out misinformation on purpose. That is not what's going on. I don't believe that to be the case. It's possible. I don't believe it to be the case. I think, though, that it seems a bit weird. Same thing with the 45-minute episodes. Very rarely, if ever, do anime get long episodes like that unless it's going to be like a movie or something. So, again, not saying I'm not saying they're wrong on that, but I'm saying that it's a bit of a controversial statement to make only because it's not something Dragon Ball has ever done outside of like a movie. Like, if you remember, the old Z movies were... 45 minutes, an hour. They weren't very long. The modern ones, like Battle of Gods, were a bit longer. So just be aware of that. That um, the full details for all of this will be revealed at New York Comic Con. For now, take it with a grain of salt. 
until we get actually, I mean, it should be revealed at New York Comic Con. I can't sit here and guarantee it will be, but it, it's supposed to be. So uh, until that day, October 12th, I would take whatever you read as a grain of salt. There's people passing, there is people that are passing out wrong information already. Like, oh, this is not canon to superhero. Like a lot of that stuff is, anything involving the word canon is probably fake. Considering I've talked to you guys a lot about how Toriyama does not care about canon, Toei, it doesn't matter to them. It's just a story. They don't hyper-focus on it. And this story is supposed to fit in the, in the Dragon Ball timeline. It, right? But this whole thing about how they're going to be like ignoring certain events, I don't... Take it with a grain of salt. Let's wait until October 12th to get the real answer. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'll see y'all October 12th. I'll be streaming live on that day. Peace.